to the ATM conference, I was a little bit sceptical about how it might pan out, but I must admit it's been it's thoroughly inspiring and I've come away really, really excited about Matt. So it, it's a wonderful bunch of people. I do, but I've also come to, um, I don't know, broaden my horizons, I suppose, talk to people that I wouldn't normally talk to. Of the fact that it's the spacing between the sessions, the people you talk to in between the sessions, trying to make sense of what you both got out of that, that is as powerful, if not more so, than what you actually did in the um, I came to the ATM conference because I had such a good time last year and uh, I was worried it wasn't going to live up to that experience, but it did. Um, and I'm taking away loads of ideas and I'm just working out how to share them all with my colleagues. Um, I came to the ATM because I'd heard from uh, a friend of how good it was when they'd come last year and I wanted to get some new ideas to take into my teaching next year if I'm currently training. Um, I'm taking away loads of resources, loads of good ideas and new um, thoughts about that. I enjoy working on mathematics with other people who are on the same wavelengths as I am. I'm going to take away a huge raft of problems. I came to the ATM because I came last year for a day with the Met course I was on and so I decided to come again this year for the whole week and I'm taking away loads of new ideas and lots of different experiences and new friendships. I came to the conference hoping that I would get lots of interesting resources and ideas. And what's amazed me is that the mathematics is often so challenging for me, and yet still ideas that I can take back to the classroom. Coming to the conference was a tricky choice for me. It's my Easter holidays, so do I spend it relaxing or coming to the conference? Luckily, it was a relaxing break, meeting like minded people, and I'm now actually really excited about going back into the classroom and let's try it.